Caleb joins us now via ballpark cam, NTT ballpark cam in Pittsburgh. Caleb, thanks for Good joining morning. us. What has been the reaction uh, since that since that emotional post game interview? <laughs> well, it's it's just been a great couple of days. Um, I've had a lot of people reach out. Um, a lot of people kind of you know just congratulating. Um, a lot of people have seen you know the the work I've put in. Um, you know how how hard I've worked for years to to get back here, and it's just. It's been kind of cool to to finally get rewarded for that. Hey, Caleb, I was just saying to Lauren, like the clubhouse, it takes all kinds, you know, and, and you look at the Minnesota Twins, you got the Donaldsons of the world, and then you got yourself. Take me through the journey. First off, you said, I hope my wife is watching. Was she watching when you were doing the interview? <laughs> and then kind of take me through the grind yeah, of what was. you guys, she was, and then take me through the grind <laughs> of what you had to do. Well, I mean, in, in 2015, um, actually in about mid 2014, my, you know, my shoulder started to hurt. I had some bicep tendonitis and just wasn't quite, quite the same as what I used to be. And it was kind of a matter of just kind of setting goals. Um, you know, when you, when you go to the ballpark every single day and you know, your shoulder's going to hurt, um, you, you just kind of dread throwing. And I mean, kind of the first goal was just to get healthy, just to, just to feel good throwing and not have to worry about your shoulder hurting every single day. Um, after that, you know, setting a goal, you know, I need to get my velocity back to X amount of X amount of velo to to have a chance again. Um, after that, you know, I got to get the command back and then start to work on the breaking balls. And it was just kind of a long process to finally get back to where I felt I felt I needed to be. And it finally started to click a couple of years ago, about midsummer. And ever since then, I've been throwing throwing the ball pretty well. Was there a moment? Because I think every player outside of the superstars, or maybe maybe even them. Mm -hmm. I had one as well in 99 in Richmond, Virginia. Was there a moment during this comeback where you're like, I'm done, I don't wanna do it? Or many. Every year. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Every year. Um, you know, I, after, after 15, you know, my shoulder hurting for 18 months in a row, um, you know, there, there was a lot of questions as, as to whether I just wanted to keep doing it, but, um, you know, honestly, I, I, I prayed long and hard every single year, um, you know, for something else to come up. Nothing else really came up, and I just kind of kept pushing forward. And, you know, I, I don't know why why I was allowed to even play these last five years, but, you know, just to, to get back is, has, been, has been very special. Caleb, uh, you touched on it uh, quite extensively in, the, in your postgame interview, the support of your wife. Uh, we see the finished product, the guys playing on the field and, under normal circumstances, stances in front of big crowds. Uh, but what does the support mean uh, for big leaguers like yourself from a significant other, from a spouse, from a family member? Well, I mean, she's the one that's there every single day. Um, you know, the amount of sacrifices that she's had to make. Um, you know, she works, she works full time as well. I mean, she coaches basketball at a, at a university. It's not a, that's a, that's, that's more than a full time job. That's more than 40, 40 hours a week. Um, and, you know, just especially last summer, um, having, our, having our first son in, in May, uh, very early, and he spent, you know, the first two and a half months of his life in the NICU, and she was working full time and going down there every single day, driving an hour, hour down there after work every single day to hang out with him. Um, it, it just with me being halfway across the country, I mean, there's, there's just so many sacrifices that she's had to make and I guess it kind of just all hit me in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I mean, you saw the emotions come out. It was, it was, it was cool for, for both of us, but I mean, she's, she's the reason. I mean, there's, there's no other reason that, I would, that I'd be able to still be playing. Caleb, Wes, your pitching coach, came up to you and said something. What did he say? Well, it was a, <laughs> I think I was a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, the, the first, you know, the, not a, maybe not overwhelmed, but definitely, Definitely the, the emotions were, were running high and really just really was forcing it the, the first couple batters. And then he kind of came out and just told me, look, just start to breathe. You know, we're going to get through this. <laughs> just go out there and, and pitch your game. And, and from that point on, I was able to kind of settle in. Take me inside the clubhouse. You guys are easy to fall in love with. You got ev everything. I mean, the lineup, I know it struggled a little bit early, but they're starting to swing the bats. The bullpen's on lock. Take me inside. Like, what's the mindset of Rocco Baldelli? Even though there's strange times in a 60-game sprint, you guys certainly could throw your hat in the ring against anyone. 
Oh yeah. I mean, it's, it's an incredible clubhouse. I mean, every, everyone's great. Everyone has each other's back. I mean, everyone's supportive of everyone. I mean, no matter if you're the superstar or, you know, you're the, you're the last guy in the bullpen, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're all here for each other and that's, you know, that's, that's all I'm here for. You know, yeah. even, I just want to be, you know, the best teammate I can be. Um, and, and really have these guys back whenever, for whatever reason, you know, invest in them as people, um, and, you know, kind of try to take, you know, take the pressure off everyone, you know, from a baseball standpoint and everything. And, you know, that's, that's kind of the role that I'm hoping to play. And, and I, th I think this, this team has a lot of, a lot of good games in front of us. You know, a lot of guys obviously went home during the break and, and really worked hard. And I think the results are really showing right now. Yeah, you lock, I mean, watching that interview, I came to our production meeting the next day. I was like, get this guy on, on our show. You locked me up, man, because people don't realize I, I met my wife in the fall league in 99, and she grinded with me my entire career, and they do everything behind the scenes. So I, I, knew, I honestly knew where you were coming from with that one. Jumping off that, what would you have for breakfast? <laughs> We had a we had a nice little spread this morning. Did little, you? A little, uh, little scramble and some some fruit and yogurt just oh. right up my alley. <laughs> I like that. Okay, I have a mystery box question before you go. Robert said the other day on the show that New York pizza is overrated. That who? That, that what is overrated? New York pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. That's definitely Because <laughs> it's too greasy. He also said we're all molecules. Don't listen to him. New York or Chicago pizza, which do you choose? Ooh. Oh, man. Um... It's, thin crust it's, it's so dish. different. I, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's really hard to make a choice. It's kind of just depends on how you feel by the day. Yeah. Um, I mean, one is basically a, a casserole, huge, right? Yeah. Huh? Right. A <laughs> casserole? I'm a, I'm a it, huge, it's very thick. I'm a huge fan of, uh, <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Giordano's and, uh, yep. and, and Gino's East. Um, oh, that's good. But I also love a nice thin, thin slice from uh, John's Bleecker. So John's Bleecker is the really best make pizza a, in New York City. That's what uh, the guy from Barstool, it's, it's Dave Portnoy, says too. John's Unbelievable. Caleb. That's the best. That's my favorite pizza in New York City. <laughs> We're friends forever. Yeah. Hey. yeah, you can't you can't beat that slice. It's true. Caleb, uh, good luck today. Uh, congratulations on all your success. Yeah. Your story is incredible. Best of luck to you and your family. And thanks for joining us. Thank you.